Right, the weather has finally stopped raining. My first chance to play nine holes after work. So it's no warm up, three swings and go. 45 to beat. Well, welcome to a windy night in March. And I'm not joking. My best for the front nine so far has been a nine over 45. With this wind, probably unlikely that I'll do better. Well, something tells me that a hybrid here into the breeze isn't going to be enough. And it's a long way from being enough. And it's not a breeze either. Now, this is a shot I quite like. Square club face, hit down on it, hit it past the flag and spin it back. Nice. Well, that opening tee shot must have gone very high. There's a, there's a lot more wind up there than one club. I think it's probably closer to three clubs. Um, I've sorted myself out some shorter tees. Now you might be wondering, where's my captions? Where's the whole layout? Why aren't you telling us how far it is? Well, from these maps... That's better! I'm not entirely sure how far it is. I can tell you how far the second shot is. And I certainly don't want to go through the back of the second, so I didn't risk the eight iron. Now the normal fourth tee is raised and I would quite happily hit driver on it. Probably hit it over the top of those trees with a little fade even though it's a dog leg left. But from this lower tee box I feel like three wood is more sensible. On a severe upslope, didn't get into the second part of the fairway. That's a tough shot. To be fair, I'm surprising myself here with the score. I've actually hit one or two decent shots, especially on these holes down the wind. I wonder what it's going to be like when I turn around and come back again. Right, water up here, two ponds, so just a layup. And that is an absolute stinker. That's not where you want to go. And a stinky shot. Gets a stinky lie in the rough. 66 yards, pond to go over. And as soon as I hit this, I know I'm reaching for another ball. 
Now I could take my drop closer to the green because I've gone in a water hazard but I thought let's have another go from back here. At least with the drop I got a good enough lie to get it over. But we're staring down the throat of a double bogey. Oh dear. Par 5 6, my target is the gap in the trees down there. Not that we go through the gap with our second shot. The holes are dog leg right round two or three oak trees. That is not the way to go. Simple, six iron, chip and run, back out into the fairway. Well, that's a bit silly isn't it? I mean it's a par 5 and the temporary tee is off the front of the tee box so it's, it's only playing about 420 yards. Well into the wind granted but I, I should be waltzing off pars there with, with ease. But the mistakes I'm making they're just kind of like building up one on top of the other. You know you shouldn't compound your mistakes and that's exactly what I'm doing because I'm short of a bit of game. But it is better tonight. Now I've been rushing and I don't know why. I've been running around here as fast as I can and yet there is plenty of daylight to play nine. nine. So I'm just going to slow it down a bit and see if I can finish off the last three a little bit better. Seventh tee. Well there's no doubt the shot you're about to see is my bad shot with the driver. I did have one round of snap hooks but I think because I was trying to do the opposite of this we should lose the ball to the right ah well Matt's got another job to fix Par 5 8 with a pond in the middle of the fairway that you can't see from here. With the tee being forward, getting over it isn't much of a problem. Hitting it right again is a problem. And it's this shot that reminds me why I used to have a 7 wood. It's because it goes very high, whereas the hybrid, which goes through the wind quite well, doesn't go very high. Just for a change I hit the oak tree and it spits it out into the fairway. That is a very rare occurrence. And just for once I actually hit the sand wedge halfway decent. And this sums up some of my bad putts. Birdie chance out of the blue I'm four inches short. Par three ninth. Big flat green. Couldn't 
possibly miss this, could I? Back into the breeze. Um, yeah, we missed it by a country mile. Yeah, even the practice swing is ugly. Just got to bumble this down the hill. This should be very easy. Get it up to the flag. Um, up to the flag, not 30 feet past the flag. Never bogey, but I suppose it's marginally better than 45. Well, not quite dark, so let's keep going. And this is the only nine holes I played after work in March, simply because it just rained all the time. Get myself set up for the ball above the feet draw, and it is skinny, and out to the right. I did wonder if it'd come down, but alas, not. But I've played this chip so many times in all the years that I've been a member here, and well, it didn't look like I've been a member here at all, did it? Your golf is, uh, it's got a very simple equation. To stay the same, you must play twice a week. And if you do that throughout the year, play twice a week, you will roughly stay the same ability and the same scores. To get better, you've got to do more than that. And I just have been playing, I reckon from the middle of October to now, the 21st of March, I've played less than once a week. So you get what you get. And you can't grumble about it because you've done it to yourself. Or the weather's done it to, to you in, in this case, this winter. So from here, if the weather will permit me, I'm going to be uh, playing four times a week and squeezing in a practice session, make up for lost time as quick as I can. We are going to lose the light soon, so let's go down to the 8th tee and see if, it's, uh, see if it's empty. Well, of course it's empty. I'm the only lunatic out at this time of night. So this time let's drive straight over the pond and my goodness, it's a straight drive. Where's that been hiding? Middle of the fairway for a change. And that's going to finish in a very, very familiar position. That was a poor shot. Now I have been making good scores from time to time, but it's been with the short game. It's been with the chipping, and the putting, and of course, as soon as the chipping and the putting desert you, so does your score. You gotta have a long game, and for that, I'm sorting out some lessons. Cheerio.